Hello my YouTubers, and you're probably wondering, why is he back on? Is he back? Is he back? I don't know. I just found something cool I wanted to review and make a video because you guys were like, oh, don't leave, please don't leave. So I'm like, I, I can make a video. So I just got this today, literally about 20 minutes ago. This came up. UFC Mobile 2, and you can't see the whole box. But yeah, this thing is really, really cool. Guess what it does by the picture? It plays Nintendo games. It's so awesome. And we can open the box here. You can see everything. This box is really thin, by the way. It's like... I did not expect that to be super thin. Oh, new camera holder. It's a box. It's awesome. But here's the inside. You got the blaster gun and the... What are you, controllers and the device right there. So yeah, and then on top of here... You can see all that. You can read that. I can't read it on my little screen, but maybe you can when I upload this. But yeah, that's this thing. Here's the box again on the back and everything. All information. Who cares about that? You know how to work this thing. Just plug it in, turn it on. But yeah, that's about it. Let's take it out of the box. I actually have to take it out of the box right here, right now, because I do not know how to edit. Well, I know how to edit. It's just very time consuming even though this is taking minutes off my stuff but we'll open it right there right now it's pretty easy really flimsy Pla plastic and everything the box is flimsy but here's the AC adapter so if you run out of battery power for this thing just plug it in if you don't want any batteries then here's a device got some dust on the screen cuz I had it out before that, that thing is that little dot is stuck inside the screen. Oh no. It's gonna ruin gameplay. Uh, oh, that sucks. But here's the device and everything. And it comes with two wireless controllers that take two double A's. So, hyperlink controllers. They, pretty, they feel pretty hefty, actually. People said in other reviews, they're like, oh, it's pretty weak, lightweight. It's pretty hefty. But yeah. And the blaster. Now this only works on uh, box TVs. No flat screens or anything. It works with the tube. That's fun to do that. It's wireless also. I don't know about tube double A's probably on there. It's pretty cool. Really awesome. Looks exactly like the Nintendo one. Really cool. And AV out uh, put stuff. You plug this on the top of the device so you can... Uh, Put it to your TV, so that's really cool also. Let's get the device itself. Let's get all this crap away. But here it is. You know, it's mobile glory. And we got um, pretty good button layout right here. B, A, and rapid fire B and rapid fire A. So for like games like Mega Man, you can just hold this and you keep shooting. Directional pad. I thought this was going to feel weird because the space in the middle... But it, it's really good. Like, playing Super Mario Brothers with this thing, it feels kind of weird because I have to press two different buttons instead of just, like, boom. So it's kind of weird. And right here, you got the volume. Audio is not perfect on this thing, but it sounds pretty good. It sounds okay, which will sound in a minute. And around here, you got DC, AV output, on and off. And on the back, it's just a screw popped out when I was unscrewing this. But yeah, uh, this device takes four AA's, and I don't know the battery life on it. I think I read somewhere it was only about two and a half hours, which is kind of weak. But it's still a long time to play Nintendo games. We got the start and select buttons right here. Ooh, not out of center. Start and select right here, reset, everything. So yeah, let's turn this thing on. Now you could put the uh, DC, no, yeah, DC uh, plug in it. Right there, if you don't want to use batteries, but I put batteries, and we're going to play some Castlevania. It takes four double A's again. So you just uh, put it right down there. It fits very secure. More secure than I thought, actually. And right in the top, play some Castlevania. And put up the volume. See, it sounds pretty good. Let's check out my video gaming skills. Sweet. Turn out the volume. Now, 
the one thing I hate about this device is that uh, the screen is very small. I really don't like the size of it that much. It's like, um, it's, uh, it's not super so small that you're like, oh my god, my eyes are straining. It's like, it's just sometimes it feels like this area. This area is a little annoying to go through because all the enemies on the screen are white with the white background, so it's kind of hard to see sometimes. Ah, oh, I have a knife. <laughs> Take that. Ah, oh, I didn't even do the knife. But yeah, it works pretty good. Sometimes the up button on this doesn't work really well with Simon. And uh, playing high-paced high games like uh, Super Mario Brothers is really tough to do. So, it is really good, like the screen is really clear, but it is small. It's only a 2.5 inch screen. Like, oh, see that thing just came at me? Oh, that's probably my gaming skills. But yeah, with the candles, get me some stuff. But really good quality on sound. It's like, it's not the best, but it's pretty good. But yeah, it also has headphones right there. Uh, right there. And you keep playing, got hit by the panther again, or wolf, or whatever that was. Looks like a panther. Hey, yeah, it's really good. I really like it. In fact, I'm going to play this later. <laughs> but yeah, turn that off. Yeah. Can't. Oh, that was tough. Then our... It, this really does lock into here really well, the games. Some people say, oh, it's loose. It's like, no, it's not really to me. So, it's a very good device. I would recommend to buy it. It's $50, most of the most websites I, I found on it. $50 retail. And uh, sound quality is pretty good. You can hook it up to your TV if you don't like the sound that much. So then you can use... Uh, the wireless controllers so yeah I would definitely recommend this to any person who is looking to play these games because I had this uh, I had a bunch of games laying down and I'm like I wanna play these soon when can I play these then I looked up the FC retro mini and then this is the second one that came out and this one's way better than the first one and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to start playing Castlevania Trilogy. So yeah, that's about it, viewers, actually. So FC Mobile 2, I do recommend buying this. It's a, it's not, it's retail price is affordable to most people. You can play all the Nintendo games. Tension games, I also think so. I think even Genesis games. I don't have any Genesis at all, though. But mostly Nintendo games, so... This is the Almighty Albatross signing off, and I'm not saying I'm back. I might not be. I'm just putting a video out here. So, see you guys whenever.